Well, Christmas is over, my red nails are already starting to chip, and my husband is probably taking down the Christmas tree as I make this video. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, holiday, whatever you celebrate. My family and I had a great Christmas together. It was pretty chill, relaxed, but still always a little bit crazy with the kids, of course. So in today's video, I wanted to show you what I got for Christmas. I really enjoy watching other people's videos like this. It kind of gives me ideas for future Christmases and also also birthdays so that's what I'm gonna be doing today so first up I've got a couple of items that my husband put in my stocking actually I don't know how he fit this in my stocking but first I've got these just black simple no-show socks I believe these are from Costco they're the brand K Bell these are something that I kind of hinted to my husband and told him that I wanted and I actually wanted these because of my dressing room try on videos that I make and I often just wear socks in the dressing room when I'm trying on things but I didn't have any simple black ankle socks so these will be perfect for that they're very soft they feel very comfortable so these are gonna be great another thing that my husband somehow fit into my stocking is this Lando Lake salted caramel hot chocolate this was another thing that I kind of hinted to him and reminded him of how much I love this stuff I tried this for the first time about a year ago and it's so good if you love caramel it's just delicious when I make this I usually put a little bit of boiling water in the bottom of a mug and then I put the mixture in with that and then I warm up some milk and I froth it. My frother actually was something that I got for Christmas last year so that has been really nice for making hot chocolate which I love. I'm not really a coffee person but I love hot chocolate. So I froth the milk and then pour that into the water and hot chocolate mix mixture and it is simply delicious. So delightful. So I am super excited to get to be enjoying this again. Next I got this boyfriend flannel. This is from Old Navy. It's in a size medium and it's this navy with blue and white and yellow, some subtle pink in there, plaid. This is such a soft shirt. It fits so well, so comfy. I absolutely love these flannels, so this will definitely get a lot of wear. I also got this pinkish red waffle knit top. It's a Henley top. It has those three buttons on there. This, again, just so soft, so comfortable, so cozy great thing to wear while I'm drinking my caramel hot chocolate. <laughs> I also received some jeans from Old Navy. These are the High Rise OG Straight Secret Smooth Pockets in a size 8. They have a button fly. They've got some distressing on them. <laughs> Hello. They're a nice light wash. These fit great. They also have side slits on near the ankles, which I think is really fun. Definitely a unique pair of jeans that I'm excited to wear. Another thing I got from Old Navy is this orange spaghetti strap bodysuit. So it is a bodysuit. It has pretty good coverage in the back, which is really nice. I also really appreciate that Old Navy has double snaps. Like there's two lengths, I guess, for this, which is really nice. The straps are adjustable on here, and this rib knit is really soft. It's stretchy, super comfortable. And I think this color is really nice as well. I think it could be great for spring, which I'm very excited for spring. I know like winter just started, but Let's bring out the spring. I'm ready for it. But this also could go really nicely under the flannel that I got because it kind of has the same like yellowish orange color running through there as well. Oh, and this is in a size medium. I don't know if I said that. Last thing from Old Navy I got is these kind of wide-legged sweatpants, comfy pants, lounge pants. They have a tie waist. They're this really nice dark heathered gray and then the leg of them is just straight down which I actually really like. They kind of hit above the ankle almost capri length and I think these are just a great comfy cozy pant especially again Let's bring on the warmer weather as we're heading into warmer weather. I think these will be really nice because they'll keep me warm, but they're not so long. They'll let a little bit of air kind of breeze through on my ankles. So I am super excited to wear these. So comfortable. Next up is actually this necklace that I'm wearing right now. It's this little mountain necklace. I think this is so pretty. I love the mountains, love hiking, being outside, and so I think this is so cute. It's from the brand Boma off of Amazon, so that is great. Also, I'm going to link everything that I'm showing you guys down below in the description in case you want to check any of them out. Forgot to say that at the beginning. But yeah, anyway, I think this necklace 
necklace is so pretty. I love it. It's so simple and dainty. It has three different lengths you can wear it at, which I think is really nice just to have that adjustable aspect of it. I also got these earrings that I'm wearing. Also, they're from the same brand, from the brand Boma. Uh, my husband also got me these, and they're kind of a circle with like a half flower, and I think they're really cute, really fun. I love how simple they are, dainty they are. I love that they're silver. These were also funny because I unwrapped them, opened them, thought they were super cute. I put them on and then like an hour or so later, and my hair is normally like in front of my ears, so you can't always see my earrings. But an hour later or so, my husband looked at them and was like, are those the earrings that I gave you? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, those are not the earrings that I ordered. So they did send us the wrong earrings. I do really like these ones, but here's a picture of what my husband actually ordered. It's kind of similar to the necklace that he gave me. Um, this is what it's supposed, These are. this is what they were supposed to send us. So we're still figuring that out. Um, we need to contact them, I guess. And we like these ones, so we might end up just purchasing these ones anyway and it's not a big deal but it was just funny because he didn't even notice at first that it was the wrong ones and then it was like oh are those the ones I got you? Because that's not what I ordered. But I do think these are super cute. In the same vein of jewelry as well, I also got this giant jewelry holder cabinet. Here's a picture. I have been needing a place to put all my jewelry. I don't have a ton, but I know that when I don't have a nice place to put it, I don't wear it like and it's not part of my routine as I'm getting dressed and ready in the morning so I kind of wanted something like this where I could put it all and just as I'm getting dressed it would be somewhere by my clothes I can grab my clothes I can grab some jewelry to wear it's just all one kind of process that I do every day so I'm really excited to have this cabinet we're not quite sure where we're gonna put it. I think we know, but we haven't put it up yet, but I'll probably include it in this video if we have it up. So hopefully here it is up and with all my jewelry in it. Again, I don't have a ton, but I do like wearing jewelry. I just don't think about it as much. So hopefully the goal is that this will help me wear it more. Next is kind of a random item, but it will be helpful. It's this candy and deep fry thermometer. We used to have one of these and I think one of our kids accidentally broke it. So this is kind of a replacement Christmas item, I guess. Um, but this is super helpful for if you're frying anything, if you're making candy. I was actually making fudge for Christmas and I didn't have this, so it turned out okay still. But my husband was saying that he was kind of thinking in the back of his head like, oh, I have that present for her maybe I should give it to her but he held off it's fine I got it for Christmas and I will definitely be using this in the future next up I've got a few more clothing items first is this sweatshirt from the brand Modetta this is another thing from Costco it's obviously in a size medium and it's just a simple sweatshirt I love this blue color it has this pocket in the front but it's not a hoodie it doesn't have a hood which I actually prefer I've been into just the simple crew neck sweatshirt so this is great I love sweatshirts I love to wear them around the house outside of the house if I'm just feeling like I want a simple cozy vibe some of the sweatshirts that I currently have are starting to just get a little pilly and kind of ratty and so this will be perfect to replace some of those. I really need to do another closet clean out and get rid of some clothes. That will be coming probably at some point this spring. I also got a few more bodysuits. So first is this dark green v-neck one. This is from the brand Mango Pop from Amazon. It's a size medium. It is long sleeve and then the bottom kind of has a decent amount of coverage at the bottom which is great. The snaps, there is just one set of snaps which it's okay. I think the fit of this one is great. I love the long sleeves. I think the v-neck is really nice and this fabric is very soft and stretchy as well which is great. And I also love this color because you know me. I love green. <laughs> Next I got this really bright blue bodysuit from the brand Rioria from Amazon. It's a size medium. It has an asymmetrical neckline. It has long sleeves. It's this really nice stretchy rib knit. Also this one is a thong style on the bottom and it does just have the one 
row of snaps, which is okay because it fits great. The last bodysuit I got and the last clothing item I got is this green asymmetrical neckline one. It has two straps, but the one crosses in front of the neck, which I think is really cool. And then this one is a thong style as well with one set of snaps. This one's also from the brand Rioria and I believe it's also in a size medium. Yes, in a size medium. I love the neckline of this one. I think it's really pretty. This fabric is a little bit more like, I don't know if lycra is the right kind. It's almost like a swimsuit-ish fabric, but it is very stretchy, soft, comfortable, and I just love how this one looks. Again, especially as we're going into hopefully warmer weather, I think this one will be great. And I, again, love this green color. So I'm excited to wear this. The last few things I got are candle related. So first I have these two little candlesticks. I love these. I think they're so cute. They're so sleek and simple. They're kind of this brushed gold at the top and then black. And then the bottom is black as well. They have nice little cushion foamy things at the bottom so they're not going to be scratching anything which is great. I think these are so pretty. And then I also got some just simple white candlesticks to go in them. I think this looks great. I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put them yet. I think maybe in our dining room area we have this these cabinet buffet type of thing where we just have random decor and so I think these will look great on there unless the kids try to play with them. That's the only thing that I'd be hesitant about but I think these are great. I love the look of them. So simple but so pretty. The last thing that I got are these other candles. These are fake candles. This was something that I had again mentioned to my husband that I kind of wanted. I'm not super big into lighting real candles in our house just for safety with the kids and the fumes. I don't know. It just doesn't always seem like the healthiest option. And so I had told him I would love some semi-real looking fake candles. So he got me these. They are from Amazon. I'm not sure the brand, but it'll be linked down below. And these come in the set of three. They're all different heights. And then they have this kind of fake candle. They do light up. They have on off switch in them. They also have a remote, which is super fun. I think these are really pretty. I think they add a lot of kind of ambiance, but you're not gonna potentially set your house on fire, which is good. This big one, unfortunately, is not working. There's something wrong with the battery, like where one of the battery goes in. The spring is broken, it's not there, and so it doesn't push it against where it needs to. So this one unfortunately does not work, but we did contact the seller on Amazon and they're gonna be sending us some new ones, which is wonderful. Great customer service. We appreciate it and we end up with even more candles, which is great. So that is everything that I got for Christmas. I would love to hear down in the comments, what did you get for Christmas? Did you get anything that you're super excited about? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to check out some of the things that you guys got. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. You can subscribe down below if you have not already. Other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great New Year's, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!